Welcome. I'm Sarah Sparks. I am a highly sought after spiritual business advisor. Um, and I'm here to share with you during this live class, we will learn three steps and mindset tips you can use at any time and anywhere to help you get grounded, find clarity and live more with abundance. Whew. You are professional, well-rounded, educated, have had, you have so many ideas rushing through your mind that you don't know where to start. I'm willing to guess that you've also been on a spiritual holistic journey for years now, and it has come time. Now is your time to kick it into high gear and be so annoyingly on mission that you are inspiring those around you to do the same. I'm guessing that divine has planted a seed within you to create a business. And I'm also willing to guess that you have been working on and in and at this business, maybe even simultaneously while having a different career, raising a family, doing multiple other things for years now, and maybe even longer than what you want to admit. <laughs> I want to tell you that you're not too old. It's not too late. And you are enough. <laughs> so whatever you think is going to stop you from following through with what divine has told you to do with this soul led business, follow through with that. I want to remind you during this class and this conversation that you are absolutely so brilliant. You are a bright, shining ball of love and hope and goodness and peace. <laughs> you have been chosen given this lifetime to fulfill a sacred mission. Please don't stop now. There is a way for you to be both spiritual and successful. And that's the first mindset shift. So if you are a note taker <laughs> like myself, I always like to, I, I like to be feel prepared. Um, and I also love to take notes so that way I can refer back to things. So if that is you, feel free to, to take the notes as we journey together on this class. All right. So, the first mindset shift is simply the thought, the belief that you can be both spiritual and professional, spiritual and successful, soulful and prosperous. You can be both. You know, that was one of the main things that I questioned. It was the first thing that I questioned when I, so I have my master's in public administration. And I worked for local government for six years before I started this business. <laughs> well, let's be honest. Some of you may not know the story, but um, the part that I'm saying, let's be honest about it. I really didn't start the business. The business chose me. That could also be an, a good indicator that Divine is asking you to move forward with something. There was, uh, Divine gave me nine guidelines to live by. And it all started because my husband gave me a hard time about not having any principles to live on. Some people are like, oh my gosh, that's really harsh. It's really not. It's how he and I roll. We love being open and honest with one another. I'm pushing each other because we both love each other so much. And we love seeing ourselves be the best person that, that we possibly can be. So he saw within me, he's like, Sarah, I know that you. there's more to you than, than what you're showing people. And, and I feel like 
you don't have any principles or any any grounding um any foundation to really live on and i was like yeah i agree and then the night that that night that he said it and he said it to me like the morning and then we went to a spiritual gathering and we were part of like a book study and we all got to draw a word out of a basket and the basket that that i had the word that i i, I drew out was principle <laughs> so something to consider as you are creating and designing developing implementing this soul led business has something been guiding you the whole way or have you received multiple times you can comment feel, feel free to, for this to be interactive as well all right um whether it's now or the, or the replay if you are watching the replay feel free to to, to share that with me um if you're, if you're watching live feel free let's have this as interactive this is how i roll this is how i teach um so i noticed that you know he said the principle and then i drew the word principle and i was like oh and I am a girl that doesn't like to follow rules. So at first when I saw principle, I was like, let's just change them to guidelines. <laughs> are you are you like that too? Where you're like, I have worked too hard and I have been like, and I just want to give myself freedom to be myself, gosh darn it. <laughs> if you're like that, we'll totally jam together. So, that next day I just sat and I was like, all right, God. And I interchange in case you don't know me and you're new here. Hi, let's get to know each other. Um, I interchange God, source, creator, spirit, the universe. Um, and when I actually pray, it's a uh, Lord because I was raised Catholic. So it's kind of just automatic for me. Um, but I interchange all of them. Um, I believe some people ask me right off the bat when I am talking with them on my podcast what it is that I believe. I just believe that we're all one. If there is something that I would stand for, it is inclusion. So if there's ever a time that people are posting things or trying to cause an uproar um, and they're trying to create a division, I, I want nothing of that um, because I'm here on this planet during this lifetime. To make sure that I that that everyone knows that you can have a two-way conversation with divine. I'm not here to judge what you call or how you connect um, to divine. And as long as that you know there is a two-way conversation and that there is an easier, most effective way to make decisions and move through life. So, that being said, I went ahead and I lived these nine principles, and I took one a month. No pressure on myself. I had, I was a personal assistant for an author. Um, I was starting um, my own business. I, I had a business called To Be Free before that. And I was learning, I was helping my own uh, spiritual coach at the time. Um, she was putting together a conference. So I was helping her with that, learning a lot. I was learning from, from each of these three phenomenal women, very powerhouses. Uh, they're very much powerhouses. And um, so, get to the chase, Sarah Sparks, right? So I learned from them. So I took these nine principles and I, and I lived them. At the end of the nine months, three different people from three different locations. I was on a bike ride. I was in Publix because I was living down in Florida at the time that this was happening. So Publix is, is a southern thing. I was also from the Midwest, so Publix was not a thing, but Publix would be comparable to Hy-Vee. If you are in the Iowa area, you will know that type of store. And then I was at a wedding. I was officiating one of my first weddings. So at, at, at these three different locations, three different people said to me, there's a spark about you. Could you teach me how to have the spark? And so when I say that I didn't really design, develop, and implement this business, it chose me. That's how I knew that this business was sacred, that it was part of my mission. It's part of why I'm here. You know, I'm being both professional and spiritual, soulful, successful, and prosperous, and being both of them were important to me because of my education, my background, 
it's who I am. Like I said, I like to feel organized. I like to think practically and strategically about things, but I also have a spiritual side. I am a soul. I am an angel that God sent here to channel and connect and owning, owning the angel part of me, owning and being my soul, but also being this professional side, the Sarah, but then I'm also a mom and a wife and a freaking kick-ass woman who likes to have fun and dance and party in her own way. I'm not really much of a partier, but I love to dance and rock and play music really loud. And um, luckily my daughters also like that. The older one doesn't really like loud music, but the younger one, oh, she and I will crank it up and we will rock it out. So, um, and you may have seen some videos, but my point is, is giving yourself permission, that first mindset shift, is giving yourself permission to be all of you. Because there is a misconception that if you, quote, are doing this work, then you can't get paid. Or people won't value your work. That you must be a poor servant in order to do this work. That's a, that's, this is a misconception. And divine wants you to actually, and, and actually wants to give you your divine inheritance, your inherited wealth for doing this work. Are you willing? Are you open to releasing the beliefs and thoughts around that? And are you open to receiving what divine has all the goodness for you? So. Your first mindset tip is to shift your thoughts to, I am both spiritual and successful. Then from that thought, your mind can go to work and, and partner with divine to bring forth a brilliant aligned idea that brings in success. Well, I mean, think about it. If you are allowing yourself, to embody the belief, I am both spiritual, soulful, and successful. Then ask, what would it take to design this business for success and prof profitability? What would it take? Feel that for a second. As your consciousness, as your mind elevates, expands, what would it take? to design this business for success and profitability. You asking this to divine as your higher self is limitless. And so you can allow yourself that space to receive the answers. Now, part of the thing that I teach and go into is how do you connect and listen to your own divine guidance? Maybe you don't listen. Figure it, figuring out how you receive those answers is essential. So that's your first mindset tip and the action that I'm inviting you to is just to allow yourself to embody the belief that you are both spiritual and successful. And then ask, what would it take? What would it take to design a business for success and profitability? You, a lot of the answers that you're seeking are already within but clarity comes in the question. Are you asking the right questions? All right, so that's the first tip, as well as many other little good nuggets are, are in there. If you have worked with me, you know that I love sliding in <laughs> so many other nuggets of, of information when I am speaking. Most of the time when I am sharing, it's very intentional, all right? So the second mindset shift is, are you willing to release the belief that there are times like these. So I, I purposely put, um, Spirit wanted me to, we'll say that, um, put in the title, um, how to be both spiritual and successful in times like these. I caught myself connecting to the energy of, of lack, because that is very dominant, very prevalent in the collective energy right now. 
But here's the thing. Are you willing to release the belief that there are even times like these? So what is happening when you are plugged into that there's times like these? Is, is you are, um, and that's not the right grammar. You are giving away your power and your beautiful, wonderful, infinite connection to divine to the economy, to a lack belief system. I am to remind you today that you are infinite, brilliant, loving, soulful being connected to an infinite, brilliant, loving, divine God universe who is all providing. So if you are connected to that and you are that, then would there really be times like these? I was at a fundraiser recently and the goal was 60,000 for the week. So they had one, one week to raise 60 grand. I get to the fundraiser and they over, and we over exceeded the, the, the goal. And it was 87,000, we'll say $600. And I was like, wow, there really aren't, quote, times like these. If we're, if as a collective whole was able to raise $27,000 more than what was expected, there aren't times like these. Only if we believe it, right? I'm not asking you to do anything that you don't want to do. So you do you. The invitation is to ask yourself, am I willing to release the beliefs, thoughts, and emotions that there are times like these? Am I willing to believe that I am an infinite, limitless being connected to an all-providing infinite intelligence who is always there to support and guide me? Am I willing? Am I willing? Check in. So that's the second mind shift. Oh, okay. So now the third mindset shift. I'm going to channel a little bit here because, well, I didn't get it all done. I didn't get it all prepared. <laughs> and sometimes that's the way it rolls. But the concept that Divine wanted me to talk about during this live class and this third shift so that you could be more grounded, have more clarity, and live with more abundance is the third mindset shift is I am so the the belief that many people who are tuning in may have is I am alone no one gets me is that true can you absolutely know that that is true 100%. And if there's any inkling in there that it's a no, then who would you be without that thought? And do you really need, do you really need to be got in order to do this work? Hmm. A lot of times I personally, throughout this journey, when I reflect back from when I started uh, this in 2012, I was so scared that no one would actually get me. That no one would not just get me, but accept me. I wanted to be completely accepted. I sought that approval from others, sometimes strangers, sometimes my loved ones. And as soon as one little hiccup, a client, someone on Facebook, someone on Instagram, it's been mostly Facebook because that's where I'm more on. Uh, when someone, stranger, loved one, would say to me, you shouldn't be telling people 
uh, about divine and you shouldn't be telling people how you possibly do things they're not going to get you or people would say to me you know you just need to stick to your lane I, I don't know why you're talking about business <laughs> it threw me for a loop especially when it's some people that I really love yet I had to come back to why I started in the first place And the reason why I started is because, and the reason why I keep going, it started with I wanted to support people. Because there were pivotal times in my life when I didn't ask for support, and of course no one showed up, so how could anybody get me because I didn't ask for it? You know? So if you're having a business but you're not asking for the sale, and you're not asking for what it is that you want, of course, maybe no one's going to come. So could you possibly shift that I am supported? I am seen. I am heard. I am who I am and people are paying me for being me. I attract the most wonderful, beautiful opportunities and clients. And that people don't need to get me, but I need to accept myself. I need to get me. And when I get me, and I don't give two hoots if anybody else does, then I can set myself free and show up as that. I hope that that's what you're feeling today. I, I hope that, that I'm giving you an example on how to be. And I'm hoping that... <laughs> This is coming through <laughs> um, that way. Sometimes it's hard to to see if that is coming through online, you know? So the action step on this third shift, did I leave any parts of that story out? A major shift that happened when I just asked that, by the way, I asked it to spirit. And that was key. For so long, I didn't want to do that in public. I didn't want to possibly have, have someone uh, see that I could do that. Even my, my, when I had clients early on and then I was too afraid to have them see that I was spiritual or that I was soulful um, and that I, that I led from my heart. Um, I, thought, thought, I thought like, all the examples outside of myself, all, all the things that, ooh, if I'm gonna make it in business, and these people who have written books are well known, that they are showing up on the Today Show or other um, major media as a very doing structured, focused individual but yet behind the scenes, they were writing books about connecting to the universe and spiritual and leading women on these embodiment, soulful, feminine, divine feminine retreats. And I'm like, dang, is that how I have to be? I can't actually be myself. It's not true. It's not true. I've created marketing, Canva, <laughs> uh, marketing material. I partnered with Divine on this face Facebook Live. I channel live now. That's all part of your being. Masculine is the doing. It's not bad. You still need that. You still need the doing. I still need to do and show up and talk. This is me being. This is me doing. I'm sorry. Um, I am showing up to the Facebook Live. I'm doing the Facebook Live. But at the same time, I am connecting. I am receiving. I am sharing. All these things simultaneously. So that's how you can be both professional and spiritual and still be yourself. Please, my goodness, give yourself permission to be yourself fully and completely. Um, so that first, that, that third mindset shift, 
around, I'm alone, no one will get me. The action behind that. <sighs> Show up. Do something today that divine has been nudging you to do that is going to move your business that 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 needle forward exponentially that you're just it's going to leap you're going to launch it what has divine been nudging you to do do it today don't be afraid to be seen to be heard all right just just do it you would have to laugh and said this could also be your your encouragement if it, if you had to create a video or do a live or whatever one of my first you can go to create the spark with sarah sparks business page and go to one of my first videos <laughs> and you will see reporting live live at five sarah sparks <laughs> reading a transcript and that's where i started and it's okay because i you work your way through it am i still doing it right no i'm still doing it because god wants me to divine wants me to i want to give you something as a bonus all right oh hang on one last thought around that i i'm alone no one's going to get me and feeling accepted and stuff so when you're looking outside of yourself and trying to find th those examples of that that spiritual soulful heart-led leader but they aren't necessarily showing up that way and you're really wanting to model after them, but you don't really know what that is. I just want to tell you that since I couldn't find it out there, I decided to be it. I decided to create it from here. So if you choose to journey with me over these next eight weeks, starting November 8th, we're going to start the Soul Sync Business Mastery course. We're going to navigate through being both spiritual and professional and melding, melding the success part, what makes a business successful, as well as melding it with divine partnership with yourself, with your higher self, with soul, with divine, God's source, creator, spirit, universe. All right. I'll put the link so you can look at more information. For the first 10 people to join, I'll give you 50% off. It's only $4.97 as it is. I don't know, it'd be like $2.48.50 for eight weeks. So for the first 10 people to do that, I'll give it. I want, you, I want to give you a bonus today. And it is from the wealth codes that I channeled. And Spirit says, <laughs> it is I haven't looked it up but spirit says I want you for the for the people who are tuning in I want to give them this bonus so it is wealth code 38 and we're going to unlock it I know some of you may not know what wealth codes are that's okay they're just locations throughout the body there are 144 of them that when you unlock them you are unlocking the abundance from within the whole point of them is that way you could have more um, time and financial freedom, all right? So it's all good. Okay, God gave me this download and I've released it and, and it's in book form too. So, so wealth code 38 is the left big toe. So you can look at it, you can touch it if you want. I don't know if you like to touch feet or not. It's your own, so you do you, all right? So it's a left big toe. And the affirmation to unlock that wealth code is I aim for what I want and I receive it. I am that powerful. So as part of your quote unquote homework, your divine assignment, see what you want. What is your soul really yearning for? Receive it. So I am the affirmation to unlock this wealth code as I aim for what I want and I receive it. I am that powerful. Left big toe location of the well code 38 affirmation to unlock it i aim for what i want and i receive it i am that powerful together as one now you connect with divine through that crown chakra you connect with divine plug into divine 
Together as one, we unlock wealth code 38 now. Hmm. Cheers, love. And you know what? I think I'll be live tomorrow too. I want to give you some more. So, so much love. I hope that these three, my, three action steps and three mindset tips were helpful for you and enjoy unlocking that wealth code 38. Cheers, love.